Hey guys, so I got this. This is a plant. This is a package, but in this package is a plant that I wanted to have like for 10 years or so. And now I finally got one. I wanted to wait for a big one. You know, I didn't I am not not the type of guy that buys little little tiny plants and waits for them like 10 years or so to grow. I like to buy bigger plants when I see them, when the, when the price is right. And this one was okay. It was expensive, but it was still fair. So, I will open it up now directly. I just got this few minutes ago, but I want to open it up because it's, it might still have flower buds and I don't want, them, want it to lose them. So, let's see. I'm seeing it and it doesn't look bad. It does not look bad at all. Check it out. So this is a flower. Seems like it has already flowered. And there's a fruit beside it. That I can already tell you. I'm very careful with this plant. It is huge. This is a monster. This is a monster of a plant. It's, it's even bigger than I thought. This is a huge plant and it's, it's worth a lot more than what I paid for it. I mean, now that I'm looking at it, I'm amazed. Check it out. I mean, just my, my hand as a as a you know to show the dimensions that we're having here i think i need to take it out right away and pollinate it because i don't know if this flower was pollinated so i'll get my grabber tool <coughs> holy moly what a plant right i don't even know if i can grab it with my grabber I try very hard not to Oh, it was it was injured. Oh, I'm bothered. I I gave it a little injury. This is this is annoying. And it was very well packed, you know. It's a very well packed. Ow. So I don't even know how to how to move this. Yeah, I think I need to need to get a get a a towel or something like this, you know. I don't know how to this is such a big plant. I think I need to need to get, grab it with my bare hands. Yeah. Holy moly. And it has a little injury which bothers me personally I mean uh, it's not a lot but it's too much I wanted to to have this in you know without damage but yeah it's not a problem so I will put this against against something 
no. What an amazing plant. So I'm putting it against the, the box. And now, now I'll think of a way to pot it up. So um, I'll get a dust mask. I want to want to pot it up right away. It looks amazing. So I brought a little pot. <laughs> Check it out. Check out the pot that I have here. It's a huge pot, but it's necessary. So I'll get some soil and then I will put it into it. So I brought this pot. It's mostly pumice. And uh, yeah, mostly pumice and lava. Yeah, the injury is minimal, you know, really minimal. It's just one one areole, and I will just um, take out the areole to make sure it doesn't get an infection. So I'm rarely putting up plants this large because you know I I don't want plants this large because they they can uh, cause so many injuries and need a lot of space in the greenhouse you know but yeah this is just gorgeous this thing so i'll just put this here just to hold it in place and then i'll get the soil and fill everything around with with the soil this is such a gorgeous plant i'm in love with it right away Totally amazing. I need a smaller, smaller uh, pot to, to put in all the soil, to put the soil all around it. The cellar has packed this very well, very well done. You know, this is it is very difficult to ship to ship a plant of this size very very difficult so great work yeah this is like uh, coconut but it shouldn't be one clump of coconut that's not what what I want in my soil just add like 15% in total to improve this, the soil's ability to store water, you know. All right, now I will try taking this out and turn it around. And I'll, I'll put it here. This is such a gorgeous plant. This is instantly one of my favorite plants. Instantly. It has lost one or two areoles during the shipping, but that's not a problem. That's completely all right. What a gorgeous plant. I um, will get a stick to stabilize it. So here's a little bamboo. All right, now it should be possible to let it go. Uh, ow. This is amazing. When I'm done, I'll take a good look at the wound and um, we'll see if we can pollinate the flower because um, 
the seller said that that it still has a flower bud so I assume he didn't pollinate it so it must have opened during the shipping you know but as this is a gorgeous plant guys I'm showing it to you from another side I was so amazed by it that I didn't even tell you what it is so this is a Gräser hybrid and it's Gräser, Gräsers Erfolg ex Selbstbestäubung so Gräsers Erfolg and Selbstbestäubung self pollinated Gräsers Erfolg this has the most beautiful flower of all Gräser hybrids that I know I always wanted to wa wanted to have such a plant in this size oh, fuck. I'm sorry I really I really messed with my, with my finger oh, sorry I don't like to swear so sorry guys so and yeah it has a damage here you know like slightly so I'll have a look to see if we need to remove the whole rib or if we can leave it like this oh, I need to check my finger I think I injured myself badly. Oh. God damn it. I hope I don't have a spine deep down below the finger because that would be would be extremely dangerous you know like in regards to infections and stuff like this but yeah I'll deal with that later You know, handling plants of this size is a is a challenge, which you can see in my with my finger now. You know, I think I will um, clean up the wound now because it's not a problem. When a, when a cactus doesn't have a rib, you know, when it's missing a rib, but it's it's a problem when a when a plant has a has a pocket, you know, that's that's a closed infection, you know. There you can see the damage. So I'll get me a sharp knife to just to see how it looks like. All right, I'm back and I brought my best knife, so. Um, I need to put the camera away while I check because I, I don't want to make mistakes. All right, so I just took out the, the damaged rib just because it was smashed. It, it went it went a little a little deep and I just don't want to take risks with plants of this of this quality. Um, what I will do is I will graft this rib, you know, this is perfectly able possible to graft these and um, yeah. Apart from this, I'll just put it in the fresh air and it just will heal, you know. it's uh, This is not a problem. So yeah, guys. Check out the plant. There's a flower and we will pollinate this flower now. Just to make sure. I mean, uh, this, is, this is a goner, you know, the flower. But we can certainly pollinate it. We can try to pollinate it. So, um, what I will do is I will cut it open. I'll put the camera on the side. This is all a little bit, a little bit, um, random. 
but you know sometimes you just need to need to improve need to uh, need to be spontaneous you know and make spontaneous decisions so this is the graft for, for later and now I get a scissor so oh this is cool you know um, I might even be able to to collect some pollen from it I get a brush this is a little bit uh, unsanitary unsan but it might still work all right I'm back and again this is not how I normally do things but this is a one-of-a-kind plant and uh, it's just every every little bit of pollen from this guy is it's amazing. I don't want to wait until next season, you know. Oh. Doesn't seem like like a lot. There is some pollen, but there's not a lot. So um, what I will do is I will cut out these um, the pollen containing parts because um, there, there is still pollen on them, but not enough to put it in a bag you know at least not in dust form so i'll take this out and dry it and then i can pollinate with it all right i brought a scissor and i will just um just remove parts that that might hold a little bit pollen it will it might be enough to make one or two crosses you know I don't even know if, if the pollen is still viable, but it's definitely worth a try. And again, this is not how I normally collect pollen, you know, just so, so this, there's no, uh, misunderstandings, you know, I collect pollen in, in, as dust, you know, but over here, there doesn't seem to be enough of it, you know, so. The earliest. I can harvest pollen would be next year and now I might still be able to make a few crosses with it this year. I'm attacked by a by a by a fly and I will I will beat his ass. I just wish it uh, wouldn't have had this in injury during the shipping or when I when I brought when I took it outside the box you know I don't even know know how it happened I assume it could have been from my grabber tool so I um, 
I need to be more careful in the future if it was caused by this. But yeah, again, not a problem. Really not. I have just removed the rib from my uh, Trichoceros validus and used that to take a rib graft, you know. Situations like this one can be uh, can be a blessing sometimes, a blessing in disguise. I really hope that the pawn is still viable. I kind of doubt it the way it looks like, you know, it looks like a mess. It looks like a real mess. But... We'll, tr we'll try anyways, you know what? We have nothing to lose. We really have nothing to lose with this pollen. Apart from the flowers that we will pollinate with it, you know? But I have so many flowers, that's not a problem. It's sad because if I had uh, gotten gotten the plant a few days sooner, I might have been able to to uh, make to collect pollen in a better way. You know, now I would still collect. I would still pollinate this this thing, and uh, chances are it will it will succeed. You know, if it hasn't been pollinated so far, it might later on. So um, it doesn't look pollinated. It does not look pollinated to me. Flower must have just opened and closed again. You know, when, when these are in a closed box, it can go very fast. I really wish I could have, but yeah. You know, what, what? who cares? I put this stuff into the sun and let it, uh, not into the sun, I, my bags are designed to let water out, to not trap any water, so they, I can dry things in these bags, and yeah, um, that's what I'll do here. So this is the last one, I don't, uh, you know, it's probably not viable anymore, this pond, so I'm not, ow, so I'm not really... Putting too much hope on it, you know. But I'll do what I can to make the best possible crosses. Okay, now we will pollinate this guy. We will pollinate this guy with Trichocerois uh, Pachanoi. So I brought two bags of pollen and we will pollinate with both and I'll probably get another one. Stigma is still alive so it's very likely that it can still be pollinated even um, you know, if it's in a sta state of decay, flowers can still be pollinated. 
to a certain degree. I don't know. I'm not sure if we if we got it in time, but we'll certainly try. You know, we'll do everything we can. And this here is a fruit, which is awesome. You know, the fruit still attached, so we get some some seedlings from this guy. I really hope that it can still pollinate, you know. I'm giving it a little bit of extra tickling, extra love tickling just to be sure. All right, and some more pollen. Okay. All right, so this is enough. This pollination is done. I am not sure if it will succeed and uh, it's very likely that it will not. But at least we've, we've did our best to make it happen, you know? Um, I collected some pollen. A few bags. Here's this amazing huge plant. It's now missing a rib, but I will graft the rib. And uh, yeah, the the seller had already removed a few ribs before. Um, he wrote that into the description, but you you don't see any sign of it. You know, it's not a problem. Normally, you can remove ribs all the time for grafting. You know. It's not a problem, but yeah, it's. I certainly would have uh, would have loved to avoid it, but I I didn't want to have like a hole, you know, a, a blunt ripped hole. So I'm pretty sure this will going we're going to be all right. I put it into the fresh air. We have a, a humid weather right now, so I keep it outside with lots of fresh air, and I hope that'll be enough. All right, guys. So. Thank you for tuning in. I will keep you updated about this plant in the future. It's amazing. I'm in love with this plant. This is gorgeous. And again, check out how huge it is. This is a massive plant. Bye.